Okay, this facility's been around for approximately 75 years. I've been in uh, attendance here for about 42 years. Uh, the facility is approximately 42,000 square feet of workspace. We have a screw machine department, we have paint booth departments, we have winding areas, various grinders, mills, blades, gear hardening equipment, and of course production lines. In this area here, this is called the lab. This is where we run our prototypes here and we build our samples. Our sampling process starts with a potential customer requesting a motor. We'll make the motor per their specifications and once upon approval, we'll make sure that we have our build material made up, our drawing signed off by the customer and uh, get started in on production lines. Right now, as you may see behind me here, we have a couple ladies building auger motors. These auger motors are the workhorse of the industry, typically uh, ranging between one and six RPM. We strive on quiet, reliable, durable, long-lasting gear motors. Each one of our motors needs a coil. Every one of our coils is UL and CSA listed. We'll wind the coil, we'll check resistance, we'll check the lead configuration, we'll check uh, the ohms on them, tape them, put the insulators on them per UL and CSA, and send it off to the next station. Okay, this is the screw machine department where we will be hobbing gears. Uh, when I'm talking about hobbing gears, we're generating teeth on gear blanks from Delrin, Phenolic, Steel, Brass, Bronze, stainless steel, depending upon the torque requirements, depending upon the environment, the envelope, and the moist criteria. Uh, after the frames are sent through, uh, they are sprayed with a rust inhibitor. The rust inhibitor is used on specific motors that are used in a hazardous environment. Right, that prevents the parts from rusting in the future and helps them last longer. We have one of our testing facilities here. We check our motors 100%. We check them for amps, we check them for watts, we check them for startup, and then we high pod every single motor 100%. We'll they're all run in for 15 minutes to uh, determine if there's anything out of the ordinary. From here, they're sent back out to production to be labeled. All our labels identified, numbered. Our motors are stamped with the operator's numbers. So we can backtrack on anything that might be going wrong in the future with the motors. So there's a lot of processes going through with uh, each individual motor. Uh, we pride on our motors being efficient, um, durable to the customer requirements. 